Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Paul from VR Asylum. Today we are checking out Empower Her, which is a self-defense course you can check out for VR. Now, this one caught my eye because it's a bit personal to me. I am a master martial arts instructor, a former fighter, and a head coach for MMA. And uh, I've never been a huge advocate of self-defense courses for personal reasons that I'll get to at the end of the video. I will say this though, this is a beta. I haven't tried it yet. It's $13.99, it's for the Rift, the Rift S, and I believe you can play it in the Quest as well too. Why don't we jump in and check out the insanity that is Empower Her. Hi, are you one of those people that puts a plastic mask on your face and sees something that really isn't there? Well, you need to be in the sound with the rest of us. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get the latest VR news, product updates, and of course, gameplay with our five-star straight jacket system. See you soon. <laughs> in the beginning of the game, you Welcome start with a bracelet the that has five slots the goal of and a video on it is to attached to your left your hand. The video explains how the spheres work. We have the ability to influence our environment with our body. Our environment can be seen as three spheres of influence. Whatever is in direct reach of our arms, whatever is a step away from us, and whatever can be influenced indirectly by using tools and using our voice. Now let's explore yours. And then gives you a strength test by throwing the sphere, a boundaries test by stepping forward, and another by just reaching out as far as you can. Move the bubble forward by extending your arms as far as it will go and release the grip. This is your first sphere. Now let's explore your second sphere of influence. Grab the bubble again and step forward while keeping your head. This is your second sphere. 3.29 feet. To feel it. Now let's explore your third sphere of influence. Make sure you have the controller straps around your wrist. At the end, you have a result that gives you your reach, your step forward reach, and the power of your throw, indicating how hard your strike would be. Wow, 9.60 feet. The second sphere is the boundary sphere. The boundary sphere is where you set a comfortable boundary between you and the people you may not know or just feel uncomfortable with by putting your hands out as a barrier. When someone gets close to you, remember to stay calm and breathe. This is your space. Notice your breath. Notice your environment. Push your hand as far out to move your training opponent backward. Yelling verbal commands such as go stop away. right there or go Don't away is how me. you obtain the fourth You're making me spear. feel very uncomfortable. I don't know this person. Stop right there. Congratulations, quickly, when you notice a threat. The situational sphere puts you in different reactive situations. Here you throw objects at your assailant to distract them and then run through a door by pointing at it. Congratulations, grab your power bead in front of you. 9.64. You're empowering training. The Fifth and final sphere is the physical self-defense. Here you are asked to strike the opponent with the palm of your hand to the soft spots or the most vulnerable spots of the human body. Congratulations. Grab your power bead in front of you. So before I get to my personal reasons, which actually go with my last point of this video, we're gonna talk about the good stuff that this application actually has, which su surprised me actually. It's gonna get a higher rating than I actually thought. So uh, we need to talk about being calm. Now being calm in a situation like this is obviously to your benefit to some point, which I'll get to here also when I get to what I don't like about this video. One of the other things I actually liked about this was use of barriers. So having something in front of you, such as your hands or 
some kind of weapon or something to deter them from coming any closer to you so that you can use that time to escape. And something I actually love about this video, and yes, I said love, is the fact that they're putting this on a platform that I think can do a lot of good for the self-defense or the martial arts it, uh, era itself. There's a lot of great martial arts out there, MMA being the top as far as I'm concerned, for people to learn and doing that through virtual reality is not there yet, it's got a ways to go, but can be tremendously beneficial to people that want to be able to defend themselves properly. Now, the only way you can be calm is when you're comfortable in situations. The only way you're going to be comfortable in these situations is if you train for these situations for a long time, meaning taking some type of martial art for many years is going to be beneficial in situations like this. If you are planning on taking a weak self-defense course and thinking that that's going to help you, you're wrong. You're 100% wrong. You need to know how to deal with that adrenaline that is rushing through your body when this happens. Most people shut down and there's a reason for it. They do not know how to deal with it. When people attack you, they attack you without you expecting it. So now I'm going to get to the personal reason. Years ago when I first opened up my first school back in the early 90s, I had a lady come in for self-defense classes. At that time, they're extremely popular. I knew personally that these self-defense classes didn't work, but they were money makers. So we decided to start one up. One of the ladies that came in was being abused by her husband. When she uh, finished the course, she walked out. I never seen her again until two months later when I found out she'd been put in the hospital by her husband with a broken eye socket and a bunch of lacerations to her face. She's permanently scarred now. I feel responsible for that. So my suggestion to you, as a matter of fact, I'm begging you, do not take these self-defense classes. Go to a real martial arts school, learn the proper way. It's no different than a new person coming into your office or into your work and learning the trade the way they're supposed to. All right, so a little more relaxed now, <laughs> not so much. I think this is the last time I'm gonna make a video like this, it was depressing. So uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Have you guys ever had any issues like this before? I'd be really, really interested to know how you guys dealt with it. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well too and you guys take care of yourself. Looking forward to some of your comments.